Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Randoms and Praise It's Not Samson or Eve. I'll even take Blue Baby. Alright, that is a pretty much perfect example to be careful what you wish for, I suppose. But hey, Blue Baby's got some interesting quirks, and what's my favorite part of being Blue Baby? A oh, permanent Polaroid invincibility! No. It's it's nice, yeah, but it's not my favorite part. No, certainly not. Uh, the, the Horror Babylon always works. Mm, it's a pretty good effect as well, but uh, thank god we got the small rock here. But uh, actually, my favorite part of being Blue Baby is that it means you're not playing as Samson or Eve. You know, it's a tall order. But uh, when I look at my checklist and I look at all the attributes for Blue Baby, the one that I highlight uh, and underline twice is the one that says, is not Eve, and then once one underline, because it's slightly less important, is not Samson. Anyway, we got a super lucky... I mean, we've been unlucky and unlucky on this run so far. Why are we unlucky? It was so early on. Well, we're lucky because that dodge actually worked out for us, but we're extremely lucky because we ended up getting uh, the small rock from our... Uh... Ooh, careful. Careful. I'm very lucky again, but we ended up getting the small rock from our first tinted rock, as well as a spirit heart to back it up, which is super useful. Please be good. Ooh, yeah, that's actually amazing. I don't know why I cringed for so long after I read it. I guess I was just trying to parse it. But we got unlucky, because we ended up uh, being on an XL floor, which is just, you know, it's, it's an objective bad thing for the most part. Uh, this early on in the game, especially because it means that basically just bare minimum by spawning on an XL floor We've cost ourselves one key and one useful shop now. We have two keys, so it doesn't really matter We can go to both item rooms. It's not an enormous deal No rerolls means we're taking infestation and infestation infestation is an item that I think is pretty bad for the most part But we don't really have too much of a choice in the matter So we might as well uh, just be content with it I wanted to break that fire because I mean we don't have any extra bombs now But maybe we get some more extra bombs and there's a diamond there or something and we definitely want to pick it up You're beautiful like diamonds in the poop Anyway, I'm not gonna continue with that because I contrary to popular belief I get this question a lot, but I am not Rihanna multi Grammy award-winning pop songstress Believe it or not. I know we share a, a resemblance in age race gender physical attractiveness, net worth, all of the spectrums, basically. Um, but yeah, we're, we're two totally different people. It, despite being born in two totally different countries. Same continent, at least, I believe. Anyway, long story short, I'm not Rihanna, guys. Stop asking me if I'm Rihanna. Why do I keep talking about how I'm not Rihanna? It's gonna start an inside joke where people are gonna start asking me if I'm Rihanna, and then it's gonna overstay its welcome, and it's gonna be a whole thing. Anyway. First floor has been good to us so far. The damage upgrade is, is so nice. We're gonna get another Spirit Heart here for beating Blue Famine. Blue Famine, I psych myself out with sometimes. It's If I don't think about it, it's just Famine. If I think about it though, I'm like, oh shit, Blue Famine, he like tracks me and then tries to run into me. It's, it's, it's a thing. I don't, I don't like it. I've just gotta get out of my own head a little bit. And we should have a very good chance of getting a deal with the devil if I don't take damage against the next boss. We knew we were going to get a cube of meat. The spirit heart from Blue Famine is lovely. We've basically doubled our HP. And of course, there's there's a whole, you know, different hierarchy for... Oh, that was so bad. Well, that lowers our chances considerably, but... Um, there's a whole different hierarchy for deals with the devil when you're Blue Baby. The pact for three spirit hearts is basically, like, a must-take. You lose one spirit heart, gain a huge amount of tears. Uh, and, and a little bit of damage and some speed. Pretty much the same value proposition for... Uh, the pact, oh, or for the mark, sorry, I meant to say. There is a deal with the devil and a range upgrade. Uh, nine lives is effectively worthless, and I, Guppy's Paw is, like, literally worthless. Could I even pick up both of these? I don't know, like, no, I can't. So I've made perhaps a terrible mistake, but... Truth be told, as Blue Baby, I don't think getting 9 lives is the worst thing in the world. This will also set the precedent for future deals with the devil. And if I, again, I say this a lot, but if I end up becoming Guppy on this run, I don't want to hear people complaining. Oh, Northern Lion, you became Guppy? You what a dick, you know, always becoming Guppy. It's the easy way out. Listen, especially when you're playing as someone who's not Isaac, if you don't have the D6, you gotta do what you gotta do to get uh, the best chance possible of success. And, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put... Lots of uh, fingers and lots of buckets. That's not the way that phrase is supposed to go. What is it? I've got my uh, fingers in a lot of pies. I got a lot of things on the go. You know what I'm trying to get at here. I think. 
Um, oh man, the rosary. It's worth taking, even though we will have to deal with the Bible at some point, I think. I think it's worth taking. It's like getting three spirit hearts for 15 cents, basically. But we don't have to pay the 15 cents until later, which is obviously better than right now. Now, if only we'd done this earlier, we could totally could have picked up Guppy's paw as well and had a much better chance of becoming Guppy, but yada yada, so be it. Hopefully we'll get another chance at that deal with the devil when we walk back into the room. I don't think we will, but we could. And the most important thing is we're leaving this floor with a lot of HP, and we're leaving this floor with a lot of keys, which, you know, that opens us up for, for future prospects. And as Blue Baby, we're going to survive for quite some time, just on by virtue of the staggering amount of spirit arts we've gotten so far. Oh, yes! Okay, okie dokie. Two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. Thank you very much, Curse Room. That helps out a great deal. We don't want to take Guppy's pot with us because it's it's effectively worthless, but yeah. So we've sacrificed six spirit arts in this floor to get two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy, which would give us pretty good out. We also got Infestation, eh, Rosary, eh, that's the reason we were able to take that Guppy paw deal, basically. And the small rock, and the cube of meat, which is basically the, the, the biggest things that we got there. And a range upgrade, well, you know, it is what it is. So now all we gotta do is get one more Guppy item over the course of the, uh entire game. Of course, the earlier the better. Another XL floor, well. And we never will get the Bible, actually, because we'll, uh... Oh! That was very close. Um, because we'll never end up being able to go to a shop. Obviously, I hope that that's not the case, but we'll see. Oh, careful. But yeah, deals with the devil again. There's still two guppy items left in the, uh, in the rotation. And we really, like, our secondary goal, for once, it's not gonna be, hey, try to not take red heart damage, because obviously that's impossible. We... we just can't take red heart damage. Our secondary goal is going to be stay above three spirit hearts. Because if we stay above three spirit hearts, we can take any deal with the devil. Now, we might be able to take a deal with the devil uh, if we have below three spirit hearts. My worry is just that it would kill me. Um, and that's not so bad. But my other worry is that I don't always understand the mechanics of how deals with the devil work with nine lives. And how deals with the devil work when you're blue baby to begin with. So... I want to at least have the option to pick up, uh, pick up deals that, uh, I can pick up and, and guarantee myself the item. Because if we could become Guppy, that would be amazing. And becoming Guppy twice in a row, shit happens. On the la keep in mind, on the last run, we became Guppy, but I also passed over Mom's Knife and Brimstone. So I think I've earned myself a little bit of, uh, goodwill here. Now, we're very lucky that uh, relatively early on we picked up a damage upgrade. Blue Baby's starting offensive stats are, are fine, by my estimation at least. Fine to start with at least, you know, it's it's not like a... Not nearly as bad as Maggie or something like that. We don't have uh, a bomb, unfortunately. Please tell me these guys can't jump across this. Why, why is this the first time that I've ever asked myself that question about this room? Like, why can't those guys jump that gap? It looks like they can get pretty close. Don't give them any ideas for rebirth. That'll make this room a fucking nightmare. Um, I don't know if we want to use a bomb to access that treasure chest just yet, at least. Would be nice to get a speed upgrade at some point. There is a curse room. I'm going to avoid... Come on. I'm going to avoid going to the curse room just yet because I want to stay above three spirit hearts. Uh, so I want to fight the boss as quickly as possible, basically. Maybe our item room will give us a, a bonus. It might give us the Bible. Truth be told, the, the other thing I didn't mention is that I would actually be totally okay picking up the Bible because it's better than... Well, at this point, it might not be better than uh, Crack the Sky, which is still pretty bad, but um, it's certainly better than the poop is, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, let's keep looking here. Keep exploring. Gotta be careful about stuff like that. These guys are firing way more often than one would normally expect. I got pretty lucky to not get hit there. Two bombs means I might be able to bomb my way into the shop if I get really lucky with the placement. Now, if this is a passive item, maybe a passive all stats up, that would be, uh, that would, that would tickle my jinglies. Eh, dead bird. It's making us a little closer into Eve, but stronger than Eve. Although I would love to pick up Horror of Babylon right now, wouldn't I? Okay. Well, this room is actually, weirdly enough, the first room since we got Crack the Sky that has made me want to use Crack the Sky. But we're going to save it for our second boss fight. Because, again, uh, well, probably our second boss fight. If we end up not taking damage during that fight, our odds of a deal with the Devil are pretty good. Is that one of Blue Baby's advantages to begin with? Because you can't take Red Heart damage as Blue Baby. Maybe you just have, a like, a base much higher percentage of getting a deal with the Devil. Which would actually make me a lot more positive in my outlook on Blue Baby. Certainly not the worst character in the game. Uh, I used to believe that, but uh, now 
you know, even getting a little bit more on the, the positive side. Because the deals with the devil have really, I mean, it's been this way for a while, but they've really become central for my, uh, you know, my personal strategy for, for beating the game. So I did take a little damage, not totally surprising. In fact, probably not surprising at all. Sneak a shot in there, yeah, that's not bad. Don't get hit against this fly, that would be embarrassing. Bomb for a key in a chest is a shockingly good trade. Yeah, that worked out very nicely. Gained a little bit of profit in uh, basically every regard. There we go, easy room, just balls of steel make that room super simple. All right, I hate this room, but it's solvable. You can shoot diagonally. And you take out these two guys, maybe even three of them if they get too close. It's all right, stay cool. Keep your heart three stacks. Come on. Seriously? Well, we, we can still do this. Push him away. Seriously? Like, this, for whatever reason, this is the most tactical fight I've ever been a part of in Isaac. That was actually something I'm very impressed with. I'm impressed with my performance. Oh, Jesus. Don't lose it immediately. This, the layout on this room is actually, like, really to my advantage if I just stay far away from these guys. If I get too close, you know, life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high, because you never know when you're going to go. But if I stay as far away as possible, I can abuse my newfound range advantage and, yeah, life's easy. Boss room? Certainly, we, we must be getting close to it. So we'll put one bomb here. I know, I know there's a better way to handle this. And all I gotta do is learn it once, and then I can use it forever, but... You know what they say? You can't teach an old dog new tricks? It's not because the old dog has, like, a stupid mind or something like that. You, I always feel bad for the old dog in that expression, because they're so misunderstood, like a Wilco song, right? Like, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? That's because the old dog has learned a fuck ton of tricks in his entire life, and the tricks that he has already fucking work, and maybe he just wants to sit down and read the newspaper instead of learning new tricks all day from these freaking young dogs who think they've got everything figured out despite the fact they've only been on the planet for, like, eight dog years. Like, it's all good. Just let the old dog watch TV or something. You'll be okay. So am I crazy, or is this a champion version of Peep that creates creep whenever it like jumps or walks because that seems horrible that seems god awful it does it creates people or it creates creep when it jumps oh man thank you pretty fly or cube of meat for saving my life there uh that's horrible stay away from me peep okay we're almost done with this fight i really need to not get hit or you need to pay out with like squeezy or some kind of hp upgrade oh jesus christ in one way or the other how have I never remarked on this version of Peep before? It's, or not, not to my memory at least. It's crazy. This is a, it's a heinous version of the boss that we all know and hate. Yep, there we go. I walked over the creep because of the champion version of it. Oh, and it's, oh, thank you. Cat of Ninth, yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Beams of light from heaven. Did basically nothing. Thank you. Good thing I saved uh, that for as long as I possibly could. Yeah, that was smart. Let's die. Let's just die against this boss. I don't care. Yeah, dead bird, why don't you just blow up uh, the bombs right next to me? Sure. Okay, be cool here. We're not done yet. I just got a little salty. It happens. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I was looking for. Dead bird can finish this off. I can just stay away from these guys. Maybe we've earned a deal with the devil. Maybe we've been good in a past life. No deal with the devil. Truth be told, I don't mind getting... I don't... Fuck the shot speed upgrade, but I don't mind... Uh not getting HP. Because if we're gonna die, I'd rather not have the HP to, anyway. I'd rather get it later. But we do need to swing something on this floor. Uh, preferably becoming Guppy. Obviously, you know, fuck that uh, blood bank forever. Might just blow it up. But I'd rather save our... Ah, uh, well, we got a bomb, so... I was gonna say I'd rather save our bomb and look for secret rooms, but this is fine, too. I guess we'll take the spirit heart? I, maybe we won't. Because if I take the spirit heart, I can't really go to the curse room, can I? The curse room will cause me to get down to one heart, but I'll have more lives, or I could... Oh, man, that's not where the secret room is. This is a weird situation. I think I'd rather kill myself and have two spirit hearts and one less life. I think that gives me a better chance of success. If you're, if you're wondering what the fuck I'm talking about, basically... Um, well, this gives us enough money to go to the shop on the next floor, probably. Uh, if I pick up the spirit heart, I could lose that spirit heart and go into... Um, 
the curse room. Or I'll, I'll pick up the spirit heart and lose that spirit heart when I go into the curse room. I don't really like that deal. Um, I think it's better to actually die, and we might have to die twice to make this happen, which is going to be really aggravating for a lot of people. But yeah, I think we'll... Let's see if maybe there's a spirit heart in here or something. No, Flat Penny. Flat Penny is actually awesome. I'm very happy to have it. But yeah, so we'll walk into the curse room. That'll kill us. I don't feel good about that, but it's a life that doesn't mean that much. Then we'll respawn in the room prior, and we'll kill ourselves once more. I've already fought this room, so I kind of consider this to be bullshit, but sure, we'll, we'll get some more consumables, maybe. Um, anyway, unless we get a spirit heart here, I'll lose one more life walking into the curse room, but I have to do it because I really want to become uh, Guppy, so we'll check at least. There could be spirit hearts in there. There's not, so we're going to die on the way out, and honestly, again, now hopefully you understand my logic. Now, instead of leaving with nine lives and one spirit heart, we'll be leaving with seven lives and two spirit hearts. It might seem like a minor change, but this is the way I'd rather handle it. You know, the lives that we have are basically... It, we're, we're gonna lose them now, or we're gonna lose them later, or we're gonna win. Either way, it doesn't really matter how we use them right now, if that makes sense. There is an off chance that maybe on my seventh life, I'll be like one room away from picking up mom's knife, and then I'll die and be like, if only I had eight lives instead of seven, it would have all worked out, but... Let's be honest, the odds of that happening are nearly nil. So, I'm not thrilled with this floor, as one might expect, but it's done. And we didn't become Guppy, but we tried. Maybe on the next floor, we will become Guppy, and then uh, hopefully it's not an XL floor. That would be the first step of making that happen. Good! Depths part one. I can't go to the curse room yet. I st I'm, I'm a clinging to this, um, like, three-spirit heart uh, sentimental, you know, superstition here. I don't know if it's an actual, like, condition, but I need, I feel like I need to uh, stick to that as closely as possible. So I expect that we'll probably come across the Bible soon. And uh, we'll, we'll buy it just to knock it out of the rotation so we don't see it later. We can afford to, so why not? We'll also uh, pick up that. Now, we could use the Bible to save ourselves, like, a spirit heart loss when we walk into the curse room. We could use it to pick up a consumable or something. We'll try to use it effectively, because we've already paid for it. If, you know, if we can get some value out of it, it makes the most sense to do it, I'd say. But, for now, I'm just psyched to actually be at three spirit hearts, which is, to my mind, the magic number. So I'm just gonna try to find the boss room as soon as possible, unless there's, like, a spirit heart on the table in here. It's a speed upgrade, which is actually really important for me right now, but it can wait a little bit, at least. Alright, so a library, and perhaps, well, not perhaps, definitely more important than that library, at least immediately, is going to be this, uh, Larry Jr. that is going to give us a spirit heart when it dies here. So I'm very excited that he's going to be deceased and we'll be able to have a little bit more HP. Now, we could get a Book of Revelations or something from the library, so that's why this is important. Unfortunately, it has two of the worst books that you can actually get. We don't have any bombs, so Anarchist Cookbook is maybe more tempting than it should be, but whatever. At least we looked. Future uh, future libraries are more likely to have a book of revelations or something, which is extremely important to me, of course. And I'm feeling pretty okay about this run right now. Don't mistake that for good. Um, like, I don't, I don't feel like we're in a great position to beat Isaac or Blue Baby. But I do feel like we're in a good position to survive long enough to possibly get an item or items that will allow us to beat Isaac or Blue Baby. You know, it's like being 30. Oh. It's like being 30 and, like, how do you feel about retirement? Okay. You know, maybe we got something started. We can't retire tomorrow, but, you know, we've got 25 years, 30 years to, until we have to, you know, actually make the plunge and it's looking all right. That's, if, if we were a retirement plan right now, we would be status quo, but in a good way. Not in, like, a we didn't save anything kind of way. All right, so there's damage. That's fine. We have enough spirit hearts to absorb one of those. And as long as we just don't get hit against this boss, it'll be fine. And we have, um, well, we don't want that, but we have uh, Beams of Light from Heaven. We'll pop those down. We got very lucky. I almost got hit there, but we got super lucky with the placement of uh, Crack the Skies uh, Beams of Light. Oh, there's our deal with the devil. Here's a, here's a fuck you. I have no bombs. We have to take this. I have no bombs, so I can't access that deal with the devil. Please give me bombs or key. Balls of Steel, it's great. I love it. I, I love it a lot. Um, what about this? Bombs are key, maybe? Oh, thank God! I didn't hold any hope that that was actually gonna happen. Oh, my 
God, that's so good. And then, of course, I have to take Brimstone. I'm sorry. There's no way we're taking Brother Bobby, but whenever I have, uh, whenever I'm trying to become Guppy, Guppy items are my number one priority. But we've got to give ourselves other outs too. Um, and I think we might as well look into this right now. Uh, so Brimstone is is a good out for us. It's certainly not a win. We need Flat Penny right now. Uh, red Chest is all right because it can give us a better chance of getting well. Red chest, which gives us guppy items, theoretically. Oh, that's... I can't believe that it took me so long to get hit there. I should have been hit much earlier. You're slipping, game. Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to gamble a little bit. Because I... Well, I want to, basically. Sure, money's fine, but mostly we just... Hey, there we go. Now I remember why I wanted to go through with this. Easy keys. Good. I keep it up, yeah. This is the first time I've ever been excited that the game is paying out with a staggering number of individual pennies. Yeah, every every cent that we get gives us a pretty good chance to get a key and get another chance to play. So, by all means, I'll, I'll play this until we run out. Oh, I'm so happy we got that bombs or key pill. Otherwise, we would have been pretty screwed. It's a weird one, right? So, teleport is pretty awful. Crack the Sky is also pretty awful. The, uh, like, a lot of this is pretty awful. The good thing about Teleport is they can tel teleport us into secret rooms or out of bad situations. Um, like, for example, we can walk in here. And before you say something, because I know you're going to say something, there's no way we can use the Bible and Teleport. So there's no way I'm getting through that situation without taking any damage. Really? I'm hoping that we find more pennies, because it means more keys, but also, you know, literally more money for the next floor. Oh, oh, we're not gambling those away. That could be a really useful shop for the next floor. So I think we're going to end up taking Crack the Sky with us. And truth be told, this has been a very, very good Depths Part 1. The Brimstone pickup is pretty clutch, but I still want to become Guppy. And if we become Brimstone and Guppy, the Salt Universe is just going to overflow, but that's okay. Normally, I, you know, I totally should have teleported out of this room instead of teleporting out of the curse room. Because I could have taken the Bible into the curse room and taken a half spirit heart of damage like I already did. Then taken teleport in here and uh, not had to fight anything. But actually, maybe we'll get some consumables out of, out of this that will make the whole situation worthwhile. Nope. <laughs> There's probably some value in being able to teleport once every two rooms, but fuck if I know what that is. So... Sure, we're gonna leave. No bombs. Four keys. That's acceptable to me. And now if Guppy's tail shows up, maybe we can make something useful happen, especially if we have an arcade on the next fl floor. Pardon me. Sure, okay. How do I feel about this? It's better. It's better than it used to be. As Blue Baby, I would love to pick up Poison Touch, Sacrificial Dagger, something like that, so when our permanent polar invincibility goes, we have something to really, like, fuck with the boss. Yeah, I'll open this. Uh, no, I won't. I thought I could fly. Not guppy yet. Not quite. Oh, uh, thank you, Pretty Fly, for blocking that blue spike. Doesn't happen all that often, but when it does, it's meaningful. How are you not dead? We could use some damage upgrades. I don't want to get too greedy, but it would help. Oh, yes. Thank you. Every key begins with K. Now... We have no means to teleport out of the boss fight yet, so if we find the boss, we're backtracking. And that's fine. That's that's okay. We definitely want to go to the shop. We continue to have exceptionally bad shop luck lately. This is like three videos in a row where we haven't gotten anything really amazing. Of course, Steam Sale is of the, it's the most important when you get it on the final floor that you have a shop on. Not salty or anything. Um, we can't bomb our way into the secret room. Even if we knew where it was, which we don't. We have no bombs. Okay, that's one of the reasons Brimstone can be so valuable. This is an important room, and it's a room that uh, I very much value uh, Crack the Sky. That helped me out a lot there. And again, our odds of getting a deal with the devil here are pretty much nil. But we could get very lucky and get a, a curse room with a guppy item. Stranger things have happened. <sighs> Lifesteal, I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to pick it up so it doesn't show up again. Lifesteal and Little Chad almost always seem to show up on Blue Baby Runs. There's probably some kind of observer bias going on there. But um, certainly, it, it seems to happen with alarming regularity. Alright, that was good. 
Get them all in a row here. What is that? Where does that expression come from or idiom come from? Get all your ducks in a row. Is that like to me that sounds like you're going duck hunting and you want to use one bullet to kill many ducks. Is that where that comes from? Or is there some if you're a duck farmer maybe you want them all in a or maybe if you're like a, a, a the, the the duck's parent, you know, the duck's mother, you want them all in a row so you can look behind you and count easily as if you were running like some kind of duck daycare or something like that, which is coming this fall to A&E. I don't know, okay? I really don't. I'm gonna open that golden chest now that we have a, a huge surplus of, of keys. But we're gonna move along first, uh, make sure we've explored all of our avenues here, including Electric Avenue, of course. This was handled properly, I'd say. Pinky eye is, is okay, it's good. Flies, not really worth the spirit heart, I'd say, but you know, what can you do? We tried. And I think that Crack the Sky might actually be surprisingly effective against Mom. I suppose we'll find out. But uh, that's why I'm saving it, because there's there's just so many body parts that maybe we can hit multiple body parts, and if we hit multiple body parts, oh, come on. Then um, that should do a ton of damage, I think, at least. But there have been some rooms I would have liked to have used it on leading up to it. I can't believe that Crack the Sky is going to be our go-to item, by the way, but oh well. There we go, plenty of keys. I suppose we would be stupid if we didn't at least look for the secret room with 11 bombs. There's a lot of possible locations. We've ruled one out, thankfully, just by going to the curse room. Could be here, is not. And then up or down here is uh, most likely. Let's try down. Yep. And plenty of money. Mostly excited about the key potential there, but sure, the money could be useful if we end up coming across a very benevolent judgment. Or actually, like, a very greedy judgment, I guess. Uh, what are, no, there's no way we can find, like, the second secret room in addition here. I could have saved one bomb and gone to the secret room on this one, but whatever. Two keys for... Well, okay. I traded three keys for six keys, or five keys. I'd say that was a pretty good deal, but it's certainly one of the weirder deals that I think I've ever taken. Let's fight Mom, and again, no deal with the devil here, but who knows, man. Okay, so it's Red Mom. Yeah, that worked pretty well. One crack the sky took out like half of her health. Now, just be cool here. We're gonna try to get Cube of Meat to do damage whenever possible, because, you know, Brimstone is not a very good uh, match for the red version of Mom, unfortunately. The body segments are, but they don't show up as regularly as I'd like here. All right, so we get one more spirit heart. Flat Penny's been good to us. Now it's time to replace it. Now it's time to replace it for the Polaroid. Don't be sad, Flat Penny. Just listen to Vitamin C's graduation song, and that'll get uh, you know you'll get a little therapeutic cry out there, and it'll all be good. All right, get all, let's get all our ducks in a row here. See, English isn't so tough when you've been speaking it for 26 years. Good one for you too, maybe. All right. Still uh, thought that maybe I'd get a key out of that. Maybe just some refractory period for Flat Penny. Ooh, that was scary. Really? How many different colored champions can all drop a single penny? That just seems like kind of a ripoff to me. So yeah, what am I hoping for here? Guppy's paw, or, okay, let's be honest. I'm not gonna complain too hard about any Guppy items, but uh, Guppy's tail would be the best. Guppy's head I would take, but Guppy's tail is really the, it's the money maker. Assuming I can even take it with less than three spirit arts, which is where we are right now. Okay, I don't even want I found pills. Who are we fighting? Bloat, okay, it's uh, it's tricky. A surprisingly good crack the sky considering how panicked I was when I let it go. Not like we have any control over the damage that crack the sky does anyway. Or the placement that it hits. Okay, we're lucky that we actually have a place to stand here where we can do some decent damage to bloat. Doesn't always happen that way. Okay, get. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this boss fight is so much easier when you can fly. But if we don't take damage against bloat, I'll consider this a pretty successful uh, venture here. This is a little risky. Don't don't do what I do. Good. Yeah, come on down. Create no peep, ye who enter here. Be cool. That was really good. I need to try for the tarot card. The shot speed upgrade is obviously meaningless, but... <sighs> no deal with the devil. And uh, 
a god-awful tarot card in any situation, but especially when you have Brimstone. Like, that's just a comically bad tarot card at that point. Okay. Good. What do you got? Easy. What are what do I factor our chances as right now? Quite low, honestly. Um, I know it might look like we're pretty strong, but we're we're a paper tiger, you know. It doesn't take much to bring us down at this point, and then we'll respawn, you know, seven times with one spirit heart. I how could I not take skeleton key? Probably the worst crack the sky of all time. In hindsight, definitely should have waited until there were more things on the screen, but whatever. We got Brimstone, so we're already going to crowd control nicely. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, basically, I like... The, let's put it this way. This is one of those runs, and I talk about this kind of paradigm a lot, but it's one of those runs where we're much better at dealing with the enemies that precede bosses than we are at dealing with the actual bosses themselves. We're going to be very strong at all rooms leading up to bosses, Isaac and Blue Baby included. You know, we're going to be weaker on the chest than we are right now, but that happens all the time, regardless of what items you get. Well, almost every time, at least. Unless you get a super lucky, like, series of items on the chest. But, um, or on the Cathedral, for that matter, which is even less likely. But anyway, I'm, I'm splitting hairs here. Um, we're going to be super shitty against bosses, though. Our, our damage is not that good, except when there's not very many enemies on the screen, in which case it's fantastic. And even in a situation like that, like, that's one of the hardest rooms we can deal with. That's one of the easiest rooms we can deal with. Um, yeah, obviously this is why we picked up uh, the skeleton key in the first place, is so we can open up stuff like that relatively guilt-free. Okay, I mean, I think at this point I probably have enough single pennies, so if you would find it in your heart to just never give me those again, that would be lovely. And the brains will not be an issue either. The bombs might end up being super important. And a dead end. I don't mind a dead end, because we really need more spirit hearts, but... I think this run is pretty much... It's, it's one of the weird cases that don't happen so rarely in Isaac, it happens fairly frequently, where we got decent items, but it's just not quite enough, if that makes sense. Like, in spite of the way we look right now, we're actually fairly a low percentage chance for victory, I would say. So, it could be a second secret room here, maybe we'll get super lucky. Nope. But we did get a range upgrade, which is super important when you're using Brimstone to make your already infinite range uh, that much longer. So that's a pretty good bombs or key pill. 97 bombs gives me a slightly better outlook on life, I'd say. We're, it's not like we had a lot of golden chest spawning anyway. Sorry, I needed to focus for a second there. Um, yeah, we didn't have a ton of golden chest spawning anyway. So, uh, having basically Pyro helps us out a lot from a uh, potential damage dealing standpoint. Certainly it means we'll be using bombs against Mom's Heart if we weren't going to do it already. We might have done it already. I found pills again. Where's my balls of steel, man? So what's my philosophy on uh, Crack the Sky here? We might just not want to use it on the Mom's Heart boss fight and use it on a more difficult room on the Cathedral. Maybe we'll get a surprise Tinted Rock? Nope. One out of ten times, though, that would make me look like a genius. Okay, a little... Oh, come on. That is uh, damage I can't really afford to take. Dead bird. Like, you're already bad. If you could just at least be good at doing what you do. Like, you're bad in the best of situations. So if you could just actually be in the best of situations, I'd feel a whole lot better about this. Like, look, it already took us, like, eight hits to kill Monstro. Like... It's very bad from a uh, an Isaac Blue Baby standpoint. Or any enemy that has a health bar, essentially. Um, bombs? Good. No? Okay, well, we may have to deal with Chubb then. You know what? This is the perfect run, and you may disagree. I think this is the perfect run for me to actually take a trip to Shoal. This doesn't happen all that often, but I feel like I'm more... I'm powerful enough to beat Shoal, but... There's almost no chance that I end up uh, beating Isaac on this run. So why why waste seven lives at Isaac when instead we could have a, have a chance at success in Shoal, right? Hopefully that's a bit of a happy medium here. Let's give it a try. We don't find ourselves in this like strong-ish situation very often. Like strong, but not strong enough. 
So let's go down to Shoal and try to make this bad boy work. I haven't been down here in a long time. Shoal! That's a name I've not heard for a long time. And doesn't help us out at all. And, you know, I would still feel reasonably accomplished. Well, at least we killed one of them. I would still feel reasonably accomplished if we ended up beating S S uh, Shoal or Satan in general, or actually the opposite, Satan or Shoal in general, uh, on one and a half spirit heart. That's that's a relatively, you know, nice accomplishment. Wouldn't feel too bad about that at all. I could uh, I could write that in my moleskin and feel like I had a productive day. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter whether we use a key or a bomb here. Let's be honest. Now. Admittedly, it's been a long time since I fought Satan, and my, my Satan killing skills probably aren't as sharp as they used to be. That's not going to help us as much as the Polaroid will, I think. Force of habit to pick up cancer as soon as it drops, though. This run could have worked, man, if we'd just gotten one more guppy item. I think we could have, uh, even with our limited amount of HP, we could have made a crack at taking out... Uh, Isaac and Blue Baby, but as is, I'm excited to maybe have like a one heart Satan fight. Which is also my favorite uh, post hardcore band. I don't know anything about post hardcore, please don't crucify me for this. Uh, sure, you know what? We have half a spirit heart. I say we sacrifice. Oh, can we even like go into that? We can't. That was dumb of me. That was a stupid way to lose a life. If we get one spirit heart though, we could go into that curse room, possibly become Guppy. But we'll die on the way out. <laughs> So maybe it would be better to just have two spirit hearts for the Satan fight. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, right? It's a weird run. I like it, but it's weird. All right, greed fight. Let's, uh, oh yeah, that was really good. Killed, uh, I think, one hopper. That's pretty much what you want out of your, uh, the space bar item you've been holding is like your ace in the hole. What is ace in the hole anyway? It's like, I, I get, um, I get an ace, you know? Ace is uh, usually the highest value card, sometimes the lowest, sometimes both. Careful. But, uh, what's the hole? You can have toad in the hole. Okay, that's literally like an egg in, a, in the hole that you cut in bread. Where's the, the card hole? I don't get it. I don't really want to open that, to be honest with you. I'd rather just go fight the boss, which is right here. Hmm. Kind of hard to see the uh, explosive bomb flies. There we go. Made it work. Okie dokie, Judas Tongue. Would have been useful, uh, fucking never. Okay, let's do this. Go. It works! Okay. Solid. We got about a third of the way through the Fallen's HP. Brimstone is really good on the Fallen section. Because when he splits, we can shoot in another bomb and then hit both of them at the same time. That bomb only hit one of them, but Brimstone can still do double duty. Wow, it's actually, like, very solid, uh, movement from them. A little bit tricky to get around there. Okay, I got lucky probably. Oh, I got a very unlucky at the end. I don't know what that was supposed to be. All right, let's let's keep trying here. Well, if nothing else, go. If nothing else, uh, dying on Shoal pretty much proves that Shoal was the right place to go. Because if I'm gonna die on Shoal, I stand no fucking chance of, of beating the cathedral. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, I got so lucky. I do. Oh, ho, ho. This isn't even the hardest part. The hardest part is the, the foot section. I wonder if we can put down, like, one bomb. And then a second bomb, and then run. Okay, that maybe was much smarter. We could probably even put down three bombs if we wanted to. Man, I'm lucky I don't end up fighting the Fallen more often. I'm not necessarily putting up the most confidence inspiring results here. Oh, thank you for firing at the same time. Ooh, little, little, the Cuba meat got the kill. Holy crap. All right, so you know the drill with Satan. You just gotta move around. If he's shooting at you, you know, get in the middle. He's firing much more quickly than I remember. Oh, we got lucky. Okay, that, that transition is always the most dangerous part. Good. Oh, man. I, I just took a shot in the face, but uh, cube of meat or lump of coal saved me. Good. Good. Okay, we did it again. Played with his heart, got lost in the game. All that jazz. You know the drill. 
Come on. Brain's starting to get fried a little bit from dodging the same shot a hundred times. Okay, now just don't fucking die now. How quickly does the- Ooh! Good. Good. Very good. Good, not good. Scary. Bomb fly. Solid. I'm sorry if this is annoying, but I gotta stay in the rhythm. No! I, I wanted to kill the bomb flies. Oh, man. Not smart play on my part. Oh, fuck. I, I thought I was, I was in the zone there for a minute. Okay, let's do this shit for the 500th time. One, two, three. Okay, well, we've at least got our... the Stage one of the Fallen is easy enough. Now, I don't really want to do that Satan part again, like the middle part. It was making my brain feel a little strange by the end of it. Ooh, careful around that statue. That can cause some issues. Lucky me. Don't shoot. Oh, thank you, Cuba Meat. Okay. Now, put down six of those. Yep, okay. They, he, he boxed me in. I think we're going to end up losing this one to Satan. But certainly we've got our practice in again. One, two, three, four. Don't get cute with it. That's, that's lesson number four for this. Luckily, we have 80 bombs, so we can pretty much do whatever we want. Good shot. Um, from a bomb perspective, we can pretty much do whatever we want. From a health perspective, we can't be touched. If we get touched, we die. I really had a high hopes that we'd be able to make this one work. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank God, and... Good. What the heck was that shot? Unexpected. Let's put it that way. Oh! Okay. It's scary. Good. Okay, that's a good transition period. Stop moving so much, you dick. It's making it really difficult to settle into a rhythm here. We've only got one more after this, so this one's got to count. Good. Good transition. Anytime he shoots and is too close, we can make that swing over to the other side. When he stays still, we pretty much just got to weather the storm. One more shot might do it. It did. Okay. Feet time. It's really the bomb flies here. If it was just the feet, no big deal. Good. What am I thinking? <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Anytime I can hit the feet and get the bomb flies at the same time, that's a good day in the office. Oh man, I thought I was dead. I was standing still far too long. We did it! Oh snap, okay. Long time since we've seen that ending, and it's going to continue to be a long time. We won, sort of. I hope you enjoyed the run, at least. As always, if you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching on a really strange Blue Baby run. I'll see you next time.